Stellaris talk, so it's Grand Admiral. We're diving in. We found Voltauma. We found Voltauma. And what is our luck? There's a lock and mechanist science ship close to us. Right here. We've sent all of our science ships that are in the vicinity there. And it seems like they want to go to Demons Moor, which is incredibly good for us. If they really go over there, then we have prime access to Voltaumar. And we want that. Voltaumar is a great, great system. Soil remediation. Now, we've learned that. That's good. Mm. Yeah, let's go further with selective defoliants. And... Yeah, we want access there. Um, the first science ship that comes around here... We'll give them the um, the meticulous one. Ah, yeah, and study spell will, will be the first. Will be the probably the first to get in there. Inconsistent timekeeper. Yeah, we can send you back, actually. If it's only about that. What is going on with the Lockern? They're following unknown order. They are going into a completely other direction, thankfully. Salvage fleet has been fully repaired. Yeah, um... We've collected our fleets here. Once they're fully repaired, are you repairing yourselves, void lurkers? Mm. Yeah, they're coming in. When they are fully repaired, we will launch an expedition into the opponent's territory. We also need some food. Let's just low key buy a little bit. Construction completed. Construction here is completed. Cool, and we're also moving here to claim Voltaumar as quickly as we can. Because it's just such a great system. Just fantastic. Now let's see. Yeah, they should retake their, their stuff there. Mm, let's see how it's going. Currently in status quo. We'd like them to surrender. Mm. We have a slight advantage. But we're not the ones to decide. We're not the ones to decide. Ah, we're both ready. The thing is, our whole um, our whole fleet is uh, is followed by our allies. So, just have to move in. We have to be at the forefront. If we do nothing, they do nothing. So we have to do something, which is a little bit tragical, I have to say. But um, yeah, we have a big influence on that. So. Incoming transmission from the Custodian Matrix Calbrit Continuance. Biological civilization detected. Initiate Custodial Protocol 46 Subroutine Alpha 8. Message follows greetings. Organic Sapiens, you're approaching Calbrit Continuance territory. These systems serve as a refuge for sapient organics against the error data block corrupted threat. For refugee status applications, proceed to central processing. All sapient organic species are welcomed on basis of availability and need a DDD notice. Hostile actions against refugees or custodian systems will be met with maximum available force deployment. Cooperation will benefit us all. Will it? Maybe? Joining in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. the Tendrakians are coming. Are they going to? Not to Voltaumar. Lucky us. <laughs> is Anstadius Bilvir is coming? And we also need consumer goods now. Buy the consumer goods. Oh, Karasta Prime, our generator world. We need more there. What do we need? Um... 
Maybe just some industry. Yeah, I believe that would be a good idea. Even though we got a generator world here, right? So... I can't re uh, remove anything, though. So yeah, let's just build an industrial district. And on Escont, we need a city. Construction completed. Hastily. Reclaiming systems here. Oh. There's a direct connection here, but there's also a gap. <laughs> okay. Let's build the next one here. Onward to Voltama. Have we claimed that system now? Yeah, we've. I think we've. Have we claimed it? No, we're, we're in the process of claiming it. Blomp, it's ours. Kota. Hmm. Well, there's also some invasion going on here. For some strange kind of reason. The Kshabia have made it down there. And the Nuta also. Uh, so it's... Probably very good. Maybe let's go up, up these systems. Or to their central thing. Yeah, I think their central would, would be... Would probably be a great idea. Let's see if anyone follows us. If they don't, then we'd have a problem. But I think they might. Yeah, someone's following us. It's just logical to do that, I guess. That's because of that the AI does it. Open borders. The Calbran super intelligence has decided to open borders to you Gothicans. Okay, enigmatics. Are ah, you in Voltaumar? Yeah, nice, nice. You're in Voltaumar. What about you? Uh, you can research the project here. Mm, what about you? Uh, we don't really need you, actually. You can go back to scavenging the debris. Good, 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 good. Oh, we found the Ovia Guardians. Another child. No, that we are the Ovia Guardians. The chosen people of this galaxy respect our holy places and we may refrain from annihilating you. Who chose you? But hey, but hi. Research complete. Bonsai! Hmm. More research station output. They're in a great uh, way here. And... Improved reactor boosters. Cheap winds. Selective defoliants. Yeah, we can improve planets with that. Mm. Now what would be good? A heritage site would certainly be interesting to create somewhere. Mm, void lurkers, salvaged fleet, yeah. We're in combat, of course. Into the station we go! Banzai! Without terrible ships. What's happening here? Halos Prime. Hmm. What else could we get in Halos? Maybe something unity based. Two culture worker jobs, yeah. <laughs> mm. That would be good production. What about that? The upkeep is higher, but we also get, I think, amenities. So, yeah, let's go for an autochton monument. Why not? Nice! We did it in Polkron. Yeah, 
heal up at the station. I'm not sure. I don't think we can heal up here yet, but let's just see. We'll we'll now go here to Scorpio. So I think it's not going well for the Damax Grand Duchy. <laughs> uh, I think we might be kind of winning in a way. Of course, they should uh, free. Ah, they freed Vartivar already. That's great. Now they're going to free Withril, and then it's going to going to progress much more. That's nice. That's really nice. And we're getting Voltamar. Surveyed and stuff. Cool. Even by someone meticulous. I like that. I like that a lot. Research log and annotate it. The Voltaum Homeworld. The shattered remnants of the Voltaum Homeworld reveal that it underwent a massive extinction event 12 million years ago, caused by the detonation of some kind of antimatter device. From the ruins that remain on the planet's surface, we have learned that Voltaum society experienced a radical ideological shift a century before their extinction. The new philosophy posited that the entire universe was an artificial reality which all sapient beings had been unwittingly plugged into for the amusement of some higher power. The Voltaum undertook increasingly radical attempts to forcefully disconnect themselves from this simulation most of which involved mass suicide. Oh my god, they went crazy. They finally concluded that only the simultaneous disconnection of billions of individuals would destabilize the system enough to grant them freedom. At an agreed upon hour, Voltaum everywhere killed themselves by any means available. Those who refused to take part in this mass suicide were too few to repopulate the species, and so the Voltaum faded into obscurity and eventual extinctions. Wow, a civilization that went crazy. The Voltaum Reality Perforator. Let's see what that thing is. And the secrets of the Voltaum. Oh, oh, great loot. Unshelves Forever has learned something. And uh, yeah, we have more. We have more debris coming. Let's see. Let's see what we found here. Yeah, faith in science. The public has come to regard science as something almost akin to religion. Their faith in it is absolute. There's no question. Is the universe so big that it cannot be answered by science? What next? Um, I think it's clear for us that we want to go for engineered evolution. To leave our genetic destiny in the hands of nature is an inefficient and excruciatingly slow process. Why not jumpstart the future of our species? Here we go. Sometimes evolution needs a nudge in the right direction. We now have the technology to genetically modify our bodies and minds to endure the trials of an ever-changing environment at an unprecedented rate. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> Wonderful. Voltaumar. Hmm. Who is there? The Xabir Industries, of course. Of course. Yeah, you also go in here. The Xabir Industries somehow Let's made it in there too. Jardlophone. Uh, now let's go Polymar, that's even better now. Oh! Fleet combat! <laughs> Against the next station. Cool. Uh, now to hold Hoedus. And we gain a favor from the Omni Matrix. Cool. Hey, Omni. Um, okay, you're living in the Alpha Array. Hello there. Can we contact you somehow? No. Ah, here. Hmm. What could we do there? Are they? Oh, they are part of a. Fed no. 
I don't know, we cannot really integrate them into our federation. It's weird. It's kind of weird. But we're progressing further and further, and it should be good. To battle! On this. Why didn't we all go to this? Thamble and refugees. Oh! They're sitting on Intum Prime, the Rubricator planet. Uh -huh. These exiles have been expelled from the decrepit space stations they once called home in some sort of ritual. The Thembalon Braves. Designed to act as a means of population control in times of limited resources. What? We got refugees from these guys? Oh my goodness. Let's see how they look. I think that's super cool. But let's see how they look. That's a Thembalon Fungoid here. They're militarists. <laughs> my goodness. They have habitat preference, are extremely adaptive, habit rapid breeders, nomadic, quarrelsome, deviants. Okay, nice, nice. So in case we make some habitats, we already have the perfect people for that. <laughs> uh, relic activation. Yeah, let's have a look at the Voltaum reality perforator. It has a passive effect to, to lose, I uh, use 10% less pop amenities and active effects perforate reality for powerful temporary combat advantages oh a dense and incredibly heavy orb composed of an unknown material the voltaum claimed this device was capable of briefly destabilizing the simulated reality they believed themselves trapped inside offering a glimpse of the real world whether true or not when activated the orb makes it possible to manipulate minor aspects of reality in a localized bubble this effect lasts only for a short while, as the universe seems to quickly right itself again. But if timed right, it would give our fleets a decisive advantage. Yeah, nice. So in case of emergency, go for that thing. Interim Prime. Uh, yeah, we have a, an unemployed worker on Interim Prime now. Mm. I believe we should... Uh, give them the opportunity to work as a researcher plonk here we go gonna be good so in vartivar we've got something in vartivar and in poltron too research complete nice improved reactor boosters Cool, cool. Um, what would be next? Disruptors sound great. Plasma throwers sound great. Hyperdrive 2 sounds extremely great. Let's go for that. Or is there something with computers? That's also in our kind of range. Yeah, barrier to point defense. Here we go. Limathara. Limathara. Huh, we need more food, my goodness. And we have these two. Let's go over here. When will we construction completed? Hastily. Mm-hmm. Ground battles, occupation. No. Research Charge! Plonk. All right, heritage sites. Cool. Um, we can upgrade that now. And then now, what would be good to have? Edict's Fund is definitely great. Xenohydraulic Mastery will be useful. Hmm. Hmm. That's just so good here. 
that's for free. Crime goes down, amenities go up, networked amenities. Yeah, I think we're going to go for artificial moral codes. That will be good for our economy. Oh, we haven't. We even lost the ship now. Oh, come on now. What what's happening there? Are they already going over there? Okay, good. Uh, let's actually go to the station then. Enter that orbit, and we'll reinforce the fleet. But let's ship design again with a poison ivy. Mass drivers, nuclear missiles. Can get the improved reactor booster now. Mm, one, two, one, one. Okay. Let's do that then. And let's both uh, go repair ourselves. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, there's a fleet coming. Hmm, kind of. I believe now we have made the breakthrough in this direction. Uh, let's see about Voltaum now. Voltaum has researched. Good. Build that outpost uh, and send our people back to the research planet. Ido Wang is only one of them. Ido Wang Tiamat. Right, we want to have one at Tiamat. The Belve. And unshelved forever. Uh, you were at at the Galpin site, right? Yeah. Return there. And dig because we dig it. Um, you build that starbase. Research complete. And advanced covert hearts. Nice. Really helpful. What would be better for the economy now? Mineral isolation. Minerals from miners go up by another 20%. Cool. Hadricus Prime, the, the mining world. We need housing. We need mining. Vesta Prime. Kind of similar. We want research from that world. N not a good place. Not a good time. Go for that. Mm -hmm. Here in Tiamat. We need more food. Iresta. Would need some amenities. And we can indeed, we can go for the Holo Theater. And on Goth Hold. <laughs> Let's go for the spas. More, 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 more. Oh, Edovang. It's also someone out of work. City district. <laughs> oh, we've researched so much here. Cool in Vartiva. So much of that technology. Mm. So you're going here and then you're going here. Research and scavenge. Building the Voltau Mars Starbase. That great, great system. And now, let's go for automatic construction. The fleets are repaired. And we can go further. Yeah, let's pick up the LEM system. Just in between. We're growing. 
I wonder what happened. What is what is in Karasta Prime? Uh, can we remove some of that stuff? No, not really. Hmm. Hmm. More spas. And more food. <laughs> and more favors from the Xabia this time. What's happening here? Plonk. Good, we did this. Let's go. Let's go here to Ezmiki. Charge! Barrier point defense. Nice. And, and now, wow, there's so much that we've learned. But maybe we're going to learn more. Who knows? So let's maybe go just go something something cheap, like UV lasers. Hmm. We want one more constructor here. What about them? Yeah. Filling up all the systems, right? Let's build something here. And hopeful lantern. Gonna get the constructor, and the constructor will also be on auto. Uh, auto build. Aha! An attack swarm. Everyone's fleeing. I think this is the capital world. Charge! Boom! Wow! And we get, we also capture their troops. Sweet. I got that ready. Yeah, they're losing more and more. It's crazy. I'll go over here. It's fine. Research complete. Mm hmm. Spontaneous lunkhead has learned more and oh, so much debris. Look at the look at the amount of alloys that we get from this in Poltron. That's so crazy. UV lasers. Mm hmm. Right, we're backtracking. Colony development speed. We might need this. I don't know, but she just likes computers, and that's why we do that. Artificial model codes, cool. Uh, what would be best now? Probably really the simple things. Gene crops. Getting into that. What's going on? Ah, the fleet is ready. Plonk. Nuzakan. What's in Eye of Baal? I don't know. But let's fly over there and see. What have we learned now? Mm, oh. Oh, we're ready for a new decision. What next? What next indeed? Habitability, building slot. Mm. Domination, clear blocker cost. Yeah, we haven't started much with blockers, so that would help us. Um, all would grant us hegemony federation. Empire size from pops going down. And we would have more influence and governor level cap. Capital buildings, housing buildings. Yeah, more housing, private council, 
public trust officers kind of good workplace motivators mm, yeah also kind of good what about harmony i think harmony is like the go-to thing stability ascension perks yeah empire size from pops goes down yeah that's great um, mercantile is also something but you only get um influence from domination i think maybe subterfuge but we're not good at subterfuge at all supremacy hmm unyielding unyielding is kind of fun but i don't think it's very effective prosperity is kind of tempting might dominate just for the influence harmony though yeah, with a leader lifespan and all, that's really good. Also brings down the upkeep, so we might finally activate our specialty. Adopting old harmony traditions will grant the following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's let's go harmony. Or or mercantile. I'm not sure. Trade value. That's that's just great at the beginning, right? And unlocks these policies for more trade uh for more consumer goods ah they're all pretty great adaptability do we even need that resettlement cost reduced planets gain one free building slot it's all really cool so but we have one two uh one two three four open which would we want from these what is necessary i mean supremacy is not necessary it's very cool but it's not necessary nor is unyielding so we can reduce these subterfuge will not really work so we have reduced it to five now we have to choose which one not to go for hmm we want domination for the monthly influence Adaptability is so cool for the building slot, but nothing else, actually. Prosperity is cool. Domination is only cool for the influence. The rest, yeah, it kind of helps. Harmony really has notable changes. Mercantile. I think we might have just to do without domination. <laughs> Even though it's really good with the empire size from pops going down. Hmm. Uh, we don't want the hegemony type. One more housing from everything. food output mm. the free building slot is just something so good yeah it's just so good ah ah planetary prospecting also that decision so good um and what what do you want from these first so we would go adaptability harmony mercantile prosperity what's best for that first ah, prosperity is good for the mining station output mercantile is good for the instant trade protection it's really good early on so let's go mercantile here we go merchants i mean we're relatively safe so it's it's just a good thing to have let's see where we can get to the, with this Hard decision making. What's going on? 
Our peace offer, Quavarians made peace with the Confederacy of Zamata. Whoa, poor Confederacy. What have we met here in that system? Plonk. I don't really know, but we've met something and we've claimed it. Now let's go to the next system. Oh, what, what, what's happening? Okay. Resolution has been passed. Nice. We've met the Quavarian Serene Alliance. Um, yeah. Again. Okay. Cooperative research channels. We would like that. Who are you? Giran Shu Hegemony. Okay. Charter of Workers' Rights. Wait from Pops. That's cool. Guardian Angels Act, regulated growth, loyalty change, empire size from systems, no. Um, uh, they're our friends. Governor gained trade. Governor Eldat Talkov has gained a well-earned reputation. Oh, fighting crime. Cool, cool. We've got the best. Aimless doorkeeper also gained a level. De facto galactic trade, unbound by the performance of international diplomacy, has existed since we first discovered that we are not alone in the universe. As new borders are discovered and old ones redrawn across the galaxy, galactic leaders agree that it's time to legitimize this commercial forum so that all may benefit. Nah, that's about the centralization, right? All benefiting? Not really. The more centralized something becomes, the less people benefit. In the coming years, independent traders and government agencies will be looking to establish a quasi-centralized hub for galactic commerce. We would truly benefit were this hub to fall within Gothic and Alliance space, so we can choose to promote one of our worlds for this purpose. Understood. Understood. What about Mesothim? What did we want for Mesothim? Industry and research, mostly. Mm. Let's get more industry going. Mm-hmm. Cool stuff. Oh no! Slumbering Bellevue has died at 878. Ah, in Gothold. Ha! Ah. I mean, we have the pro here. Really cool. I will choose someone new for Hillus Prime. How about Lawless Diamond, the intellectual? Getting everything going here. Okay, let's go to Cordip. Hey, we fi finally scavenged something more in Hedus. Were there more fights here? No. Okay. I guess it's fine. How are we doing? The status quo would be good. Yeah. I believe we're definitely going. Wow, the Omni Matrix is also. The Omnimatrix is a bulwark under the Nuta Kingdom. How did that happen? Crazy. Crazy stuff, but we're going further in. Tiamat. So many people coming to us, we need more food. Of our association status to whom? To the Nuta. Okay. The Nuta were the friendly ones, right? Here, these guys. Uh, Xenophile and fanatic militarist. Hello there, Quvarians. Oh, you are a moral democracy now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> Uh, 
Let's go to the black hole. Association status by the Frankenstein conglomerate. Something else is happening here. Mm. Regulated growth. Yeah, we don't really want that. Ban organic slave trade. Sure. So then we're on the we're on the job. Uh, weight from fleet power goes down. Sure. Are we going in now? The miracle of life, our breeding program, ah, for the Nemais, has worked on Vesta. The Jubilant has quickly acclimated to our presence and we have found it a stable habitat. The Nema should now be ready to bear our industry. Magnificent. Start another one. We've got the Nema. Ah, let's, let's build something there. What do we want on Vesta? Armies? I mean, we would really like research. Mm. Research, research, research. But we cannot afford the research here. <laughs> but it is definitely something for research. So we'll go mining first now, hopefully, as a transition process. Vesta Prime, I mean, um, yeah, we need to we need to buy something here. Whoop. The with him has been built. Cool. You go to Tobiba now. Ah, Escon Prime. One more industrial district. Adricus, Intam, Irista, Idovang, Helos. It's all kind of good now. We had some kind of fight. Ah, here. Wonderful. Bring it down, plonk. Yeah, let's go to Dustamon then. To de-dust it. Innocent Bandwagon is governing the, the sector. And Gene Crops, nice, so we get even more food so we can slowly combat this maybe oh what would be good now chemical bliss we don't need that but a planetary capital is always a good thing foods going forward yeah everything is kind of going forward oh War declarations. The Locken versus the sovereignty of Luthadrial. Ah, uh, didn't they fight one one time before? With the Locken kind of winning? Yeah, I believe that was that. Oh, we're in the greens. There's not much left to achieve our war goals. Relic activation is possible, but we really don't need it at this moment. Construction complete. Uh, plonk. Here we go. Robot debris. Two sides. Upon closer examination, they smashed the droids. Found on the surface of L49109D, appear to originate from two distinct cultures. Technologically, the droids must have been very evenly matched when they were still functional, but they are many subtle differences that hint at different design origins. Oh yeah, find out more about these strange robots. Why don't you? Research complete. Aha, mineral isolation, good. Good, and now? 
Mega Forge is a kind of good. The Starhold is tempting us with its presence. Yeah, I think the Starhold is really important, so let's go for that. Proud Voltaumar. And the Elgates. The Elgates. Complete. Oh, we could create one more starbase. Oh, we have to think about that. Self-aware colony ships. Always a good thing. Oh, we could go encryption. Yeah, that's maybe a good idea. Even more because it's so cheap. The current play, uh, state. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, let's see if we can. Should, would... Remove some of these features, no. What about these? No, okay. Are these also not? Vesta Prime, maybe. Ah, yeah, we can remove something. Toxic Kelpo, also. Juvenile Nemo, ah. Sweet. Even more society research. Yeah, let's remove some of the toxic cut. Probably that will <laughs> remove the Nema. I'm not sure. We'll see about that very soon. The with him. Nice. Um, you're going to Tobiva, right? Yeah, you're going to Tobiva. Going forward that way. So much above our oh what happened there why do we have so much here admirals mm. forbidden scapegoat can get this ah we got the ships back from <laughs> yeah all right i understand we got the ships back because yeah, we went plundering, right? Let's get in here. Charge! Who's rivaling us? You little Kahan? Okay. We'll rival you too. Ha! Rivalries, yeah. All that influence and the fight against the Grand Research Duchy. Complete. Declaring the rivalry, yes. And quantum firewalls. So we got the inscription now. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, look at that quantum hacking. Even more, even more like that. Code breaking and the Bureau of Espionage. Edict that we could go for. What are they doing? They will just fall. <laughs> yeah, interesting like that. I'll go over here. To Magam. There's a big fleet of the Thambalan Braves it's crossing our stuff. We got Tobiva. Let's go for Bozim. I got the planetary capital. Nice. Uh, now, faction unity bonus. The living state. That's so useful. Let's go for that. And the Deep Space Black Side. That's also a cool building. Now we have the Void Lurker and stuff. Nice. Hey everyone. Uh, here we go. Mm. Go to Sim. Mm. Step by step, I guess. Step by step. 
So many L gates we'll control as a federation too. Construction completed. Hmm. Sweet. Pill got this. Even more. We had sim. Let's claim that quickly. Research complete. Quantum hacking is also ours. We're all about the computers. Uh, advanced research? Nah. Research Institute? That's a good one. We'll see about that. And we'll also see about... Yeah, it's it's time. It's time to upgrade a lot of things. <laughs> we need a lot of minerals for that. We'll need a lot of minerals for that. What do we need here? Yeah, we're, we're lacking really a lot. Let's buy a thousand minerals. Just go for that one. And that one. How about Tiamat? Yeah, let's let Tiamat be the, the last thing we get from that now yeah it is also the last thing hey 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 more planetary capitals nice 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 so what's been happening we we've been filling up our space um we will look into the natural wormhole once we have the technology for that we'll fill up more space and uh we'll be cruising we're, we're in a really good federation and uh, we have gained a lot of research speed now and I think we're on the right track we're on the right track to make our federation so good that it can stop the crisis when it appears so have a great time until next time and happy gaming this is Immanuel Khan signing out see you soon and happy gaming have a toxic funny time until then See you soon.